and as soon as you're done playing it for the first time, you're like, I wanna play again. I just figured out the strategy. I just learned how to play this. Um, but then everybody in the group wants to move on. Well, I wanna to talk to you today about a game where you're gonna play five rounds and you're gonna learn from each of those rounds to develop your strategy better and better. Talking to you today about Sorcerer City from Druid City Games. Uh, they might sound familiar from their project of the Grim Forest, which was wildly successful. Um, got a lot of people's attention. I recently posted a time-lapse video on my Instagram of playing the whole game through. Great little game with some amazing miniatures. Um, so this game is looking like it's going to ship in June of June 2019 and it's going to set you back about $49 for that base pledge. You can add 25 bucks to that to get the metal prestige coins uh, if you want. And they have blown through 17 stretch goals and it's looking like they're going to hit some more before they end. <music> So this is a game for one to four players. Did I say one to four? I meant one to five. Oh, did I say one to five? I meant one to six. Yeah, they actually have been adding a fifth player and a sixth player as a stretch goal, which they have already achieved. So now you can play it solo all the way up to six players. Um, the game is a real-time tile placement game. Uh, you have a two minute clock where you're placing down tiles as quickly as possible trying to formulate the best city. Uh, you're playing as these uh, mages or wizards who are trying to build the best city and then rebuild it and rebuild it and rebuild it to become the head wizard of the um, sorcerer city. <music> What really makes this game kind of unique um, is it, it's kind of a nice blend of Galaxy Trucker of your racing against the clock to try to build your ship as fast as possible and Carcassonne where you're trying to like build up your city with other people and so you're mashing these two elements together where you're individually building a city and racing your opponents to build the best city. Um, you kind of are pulling the tile and then placing it, pulling the tile, placing it. Um, so the game is going to kind of change because each round you're going to shuffle those and play a different one, but you're going to play five rounds. So as you go through it, round one, you might've made some bad placements, but round two, three, four, five, you kind of know what mistakes you made before and you can kind of change up your strategy. Um, the game, uh, allows you to move up these four different tracks, um, with your with your placement of different colored districts and uh, then you're able to use those tracks to either gain victory points, um, gain prestige points, gain money to buy better tiles or use the prestige points. Um, if you're highest in that category you can pull in special unique things that happen. Um, you're also going to have monsters come in and they're going to kind of terrorize your plan um, so that's going to add an interesting kind of element to that overall. I'd say the game is at a lower complexity. It's got some good strategy, but it's not too hard. Um, so I think younger kids um, might need to play a few rounds before they can actually really grasp it, but I think it could play to that kind of um, group of people. Uh, overall, it's got um, some great mechanics and some great concepts in it, and really kind of changes the tile placement um, norm. <music> So in the end, uh, I really think that this game deserves a look from any real gamer who enjoys the tile placement um, or real-time games. Any, any of those really strike out to you, I think you should check this out. Druid City is doing great things um, and you need to check it out before uh, March 30th, which is its end date. Um, fully funded, fully safe, so go check it out. Um, thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you like my video and I will see you next time. Thanks.